Hello and welcome to next episode of my road of becoming good at putting. Obviously the road has been long, it has been heavy ups and downs, mostly downs, but I'm still fighting, I'm not giving up and this is episode 11. In this episode we're going to watch top 5 tips that you need to know and concentrate when you practice your putting, at least what I have learned about myself. But before we jump into it, this is the color scheme I'm going to use all throughout this video. It's going to be comparing my totals before this episode. And you can see also the totals on the screen, which are really, really bad. And I'm going to try to make them better. But just before we jump into the data, tip number one is obviously grip. What I have learned throughout my putting training and talking to all various players, the grip is purely individual. If you have any, any friend telling you, you this is the way you have to hold it, it's not true. Try to find your own grip, the way it feels comfortable. But there's one basic rule that you have to follow. This rule is really simple. It has to be, the disc has to be firmly in your hand, meaning that line that starts from here and finish here, this is where the disc has to be touching all the way through. So if I demonstrate like this, and you just grab it, the way it makes you feel normal and natural. And you go from there and it needs to be repeatable. You have to be repeating that grip all the time. Otherwise, it's not going to work. The rest of the tips will come in two time during this video, but let's jump into the button data now. As I have not gained a promotion from six meters, then I obviously continue from that distance. As you can see, I have continued with the same range and all three days in the same, this section were very equal. Think like this, that every day I attempted 100 putts and, and every day I made 63 to 65 of those. That is consistency, but it needs to be higher level. With no surprise, that brings my section average from 6 meters to 64% and no promotion. With the UD games was the same story, even though I didn't manage to play the game on day 139. Day 137, I got 348 points in that, in that game. I made 80% from 5 and 6 meters, but everywhere else I was below 50%. On day 138, I got 331 points. And that was basically the same story as the previous day. 90% from 5 meters and 33% from 8 meters. The step down is just huge. In the next section, I continued with the same once more. As you can see, all three days are very, very similar and nothing really much to talk about. That brings my section average to 66% and once again, no promotion. When it comes to the UD games, then on day 140, I played just awful. I collected only 305 points, and when I look at the hit ratios on that game, it was as awful as the points. On day 141 was already so much better, and I collected 404 points. But it was a weird game as well because I hit 10% from 10 meters, 45% from 9 meters, and 5 to 8 meters was between 60 to 70%. Weird indeed. On day 142, I did good and 424 points was satisfactory. I didn't visit the 5 meter mark not even once, and that was 93% from 6 meters. 64% from 7 meters is a big drop, but hey, it is progress, right? So we are done halfway of this episode, and as you can see, nothing really has changed. Like, the percentages are in the same range, it's not going fluctuating a little bit, but 
it's basically the same. So maybe something needs to change. So from this on, I decided I want to put more power on my pads. So it needs to be more spin. And this comes to tip number two. Is it spin or push pad or splash? Well, I think it's generally depends on your personality of yourself, like which makes me feel more comfortable. But if you look into the world, like who are the most successful putters, none of them are push putting. All of them are spin putting. So that's why on this point I was thinking I need to put more spin on my putts. So what's the difference of spin and push? Spin is when you see the players, they come like this and go like this, right? They're putting on purpose more spin. Push pad when, when you see them doing just like this. Just the swing of the hand, like a pendulum, you know? And I've seen, I've had so much more success with the push pad, but I feel like on the windy days, when you're on, on the league or tournament, the push pad is not working in the wind. It's, it's not working, you need to spin. So practicing spin pad every day makes more sense. So from this on, I decided to put more spin pad. So tip number three is focus. Focusing on the point of entry, where you want your disc to go. And I discovered at some point, I lost the focus completely when I came to Estonia. My mind was so absent, I was thinking about everything else than just the point where to put the disc. So from now on, I'm just trying to keep my focus on that point. But since I'm still learning and <laughs> teaching my body to do the correct things when I'm putting, then I have to also focus on the movements. Anyway, let's jump back into the data. So as promised, I started putting with more spin, but interesting on the first day, it worked out really well. But the next day I was brought back to the reality and here we can see that how much work I still have. Dropping down from 75% to 56 and 57% is really, very, really bad. But I'm trying to remind myself that this is all part of the process. Obviously, there is no promotion to 7 meters and my section average comes up to 63%. When it comes to yearly games, then on day 143, I collected only 354 points. Once again, I was very good from 5 and 6 meters, but very poor from other distances. For example, 8 meters was only 37%. Day 144, I was even worse and collected only 309 points. The same thing followed as I was good from 5 meters, average from 6 and missed all my 10 attempts from 9 meters. From 10 meters, I had 20 attempts and made only 5 of those. Poor form continued in the next section, but luckily things started to get better from the section second day. As you can see from the graphs, then it went up to a point I am used to. In this episode, all the sections have been very equal and the last section is no difference. It came up to 65%. Yearly games, I did only on one time and it was a disaster. I collected only 265 points. Weirdly, I didn't visit not even one time the 6 meter mark but was bad from 5 meters as well with only 76%. From 9 meters I hit only 1 out of 10 putts and from 10 meters I missed all 15 putts. Just awful to watch those stats. So we are done with this episode, but almost. Like I promised in the beginning, I will bring you 5 things that I've learned with my putting that actually can benefit anybody. So here's point number four, follow through, of course. Everybody knows about follow through when you putt, but it really, really helps. Like when I come here, right, like this, when I putt straight at the basket and I focus on keeping my hand up at the basket, 
I have noticed that 90% the accuracy goes better. Surprise, surprise, right? But it really helps and this is something, a focal point you have to think about. Point number five, slow down. Just like drawing, rushing your putts can also disrupt your technique, can dismantle everything. So I have trying to slow down my putts, taking my time, like concentrating on points one by one, coming down, going up, release, and follow through, of course. And in the same time, keeping your eye on the target where you're trying to aim. It's more difficult than said because my body is not really listening to me, but it's just me. I've been doing this only for 148 days now, and I calculated that if I putt by average every practice day, 250 putts, I will need 400 putting days to get to that 100,000 tries of any throw you need to do. And you can say you have the muscle memory now. So I still have a long way to go. So I'm not going to give up before I have reached practice days 400. If by then I have not improved, then we can say that I'm hopeless, but it's muscle memory training. This cough, it can't be hopeless. Anyway, I hope this helps you a little bit and seeing me suffer in my tournaments and my leagues helps you as well to see everybody's hopeless and you can improve. So my totals averages after this episode, they're going to go down a little bit. It's expected because trying to put more spin in the pod, it's it's expected to go down, but at some point it has to go up. So I'm lo really looking forward to it and to seeing what is going to happen. As you can see, my five, seven, nine, and 10 meters went down by 1%. And my yearly game average went down by three, 200. <laughs> my yearly game went down by two points. So it's not the end of the world. But still, you don't want to see the red dots at your averages after every episode. So hopefully next episode, I'm going to see a lot of green. Hopefully. So now, I hope it really helps you. If you have any questions, if you have any ideas to give me, because I'm thinking I need to switch things up. I need to try something else. I need to add something else to my putting practice because it's getting a little bit mundane let's say and i just need to add something if you have an idea leave a comment i will read it i will consider it and i will probably do it because why not everything helps the main thing to keep on doing the five steps and it will come i, I trust the process it will come anyway I hope you have a beautiful day and see you next time. Bye, bye, bye.